Git and GitHub are both distinct terms. Git is the version control system or in simple terms, the software used to manage changes over your code base, return to previous versions of your code, create branches, merge two branches and much more. But what is GitHub? And how can we use Git and GitHub to work together? Basically, GitHub is a platform where developers can store, manage and collaborate with others. We can use GitHub to store our code base in their servers, we can collaborate and share our repositories with others, we can also push code to a repository, and we can pull code as well. In the last video, we covered some of the basic git commands you can use. So if you need to refresh your memory about some commands, make sure to visit the last video. Today, we will take a look at GitHub and how we can use it. First, we need to set up a GitHub account for you. So go to GitHub official website and create an account if you don't have one. If you do, then just sign in. Alright, so this is the main home screen that you will see in front of you. Let's go right here and press on create repository or we can go up there and press on the arrow and select new repository so we can create a new repository. So right now, we can name our repository. So let us say test repository and it is available. We can also give a description for this repository as well as we can select if it is public or private. Well, if it is public, then anyone on the internet will see it, so they can just search for the name of your repository and access its content. However, if you set it as private, no one can see your repository, or whoever you choose to see your repository can view the content of this repository. As well as you can see, we have other options to choose, like we can add a readme file, we can add a .git ignore file, as well as choose a license. Well, for now, everything seems to be good for me, so I'll say create repository. And now we've just created our first repository, we named it test repository. After creating your repository, you can see that GitHub is giving us a simple guide. We can create a repository, or we can push an existing one, or import a code from a repository. What we will do is push an existing repository from the command line. So what I will do is I will go to VS Code and use the command prompt. You can use any terminal you want. You can use PowerShell, Git Bash, or any terminal that comes within your machine. I'm using VS Code, the IDE that I want. So let us go ahead right now and create a local repository. To do this, we'll say git init, and this will create for us an empty repository. Okay, so now let us go ahead and say git add, and add will help us add our file 1.txt to the staging area. So if I say file 1.txt, Right now, we added file1.txt to the staging area, and right now we are able to commit this file. So I will say git commit with a message. I will say, let's say, this is my first commit, okay? And I'll hit enter, and if I say git log, we can see our commit. So now, how do we push this local repository to the remote repository or the GitHub repository? So as you can see here, Git is actually giving us a step-by-step -step guide or tutorial for us to follow. So let us, first of all, copy-paste the first command. So I'm back in command prompt, I will paste this command and hit enter. So what this is doing is it will tell Git that we want to establish a connection with GitHub and we have an address that we want to connect to, so this is the address. And of course you will have a different address. So right now we are connected to the repository that is in GitHub. Now if we go back to GitHub, as you can see, there is another command we need to write, which is git branch hyphen m and main. This will change our branch to main. So if I go ahead and copy paste it right here, and if I say git branch, which will list for me all the branches that I have, as you can see, my main branch or the branch that was called master is now called main because we changed it to main. The next command is we want to push our code or our local repository to our remote repository. So I'm back at CMD, I will copy paste this, and boom. Right now let's wait for it to push our local repository to our remote repository. So I'm back at GitHub, let me press on the test repository, or the name of my repository, and as you can see, we actually, where we successfully pushed our code to from our local repository to our remote repository. As you can see, this is file1.txt, this is the first or the latest commit we have, which is my first commit for today's video. So this is my first commit. And as you can see, we officially pushed our local repository to our remote repository. Now, if you go back to CMD, and what if I say git branch, and I will create, let's say, a random 
branch okay so this command will allow me to create a branch so right now if i say get branch as you can see i have another branch which is which is called random branch so how can you right now push your new branch into the remote repository so whenever you have a branch extra or an extra branch than main you need to write git push and double hyphen and then all like this it will push everything you have in your local repository including other branches like our random branch over here so right now let me go back to github now i am back at github let me press on the branch section and let us see how many branches we have so we have two branches we have the main branch and we have the random branch okay so now let me show you how you can work with files in github so now i am inside my main branch because it says here main if i press right now on this arrow as you can see we can change or switch branches like right now i could switch to random branch by pressing on it but let us stay inside main now let me go ahead and click on my file1.txt so when i click on it i am able to modify this file how well i will go here and press on this pen icon and right now i am able to edit this file so let's say i don't know git and github are awesome so let's say this i'll write it right here and let's say i'm done and i'm ready to commit my changes what i can do is go up here and press on this button which says commit changes and once i press this it will allow me to give a commit message so let's say a scripted message i will say modified file1.txt and added git and github are awesome for example are awesome okay now i could add a extended description if you want to describe more your commit but what i want to do right now is i want to commit directly to the main branch this is my purpose right now so what i will say is i will say commit changes and now it is saving and now i just did a commit inside github so now let me go back to my repository by pressing on my the name of my repository as you can see my latest commit is the following commit and let me press on the commit history by pressing on this commit and as you can see it shows me my latest commit and what is different between the first and the last commit now as you can see there is this issues tab right here so let's press on it so what this issues tab really means is that you can assign something or a job for someone in your team member to be able to fix let's say an issue in your code how can you do that well, you can say or press on the new issue to create a new issue. You can give it a title. For example, in my file one.txt, I want to change Git and GitHub are awesome to Git and GitHub are epic. So I could say fix Git and GitHub are awesome to Git and GitHub are epic. Okay, so this is the issue title as well as I could give it a description. Let me copy paste this right here okay so let's say this i'll add a, a asterisk sign right here and i'll say bug for example so this is the description if you want and we can scroll right here and submit a new issue but before submitting this issue you want to assign this issue to someone what you can do is go up here press on the settings icon and assign this to your team members now because this repository is only for me and i am alone in this repository so i could assign this for myself or on myself so I'll press like this and now it is assigned to me okay so next we have labels and if you press on labels you can give this issue a type is it a bug a documentation duplicate enhancement and so on let's say for me it will be a bug and I'll press on bug and as you can see it is labeled as bug now we have other options like projects milestone and development now I'm good with this issue and let me go ahead and submit a new issue so after submitting a new issue you can see that this is the description of the issue this is the user who gave the issue and this issue right now is assigned to me and i need to fix this issue so let me go ahead do my work and fix this issue so now i have a job to do so let's go ahead and fix the issue that i need to fix well first let me go ahead and press on the branches tab and i want to create a new branch and i will call this branch fix bug okay so let me hit on create new branch and now after creating a new branch let me go ahead and click on it so like this we will go to the fix bug branch let me go ahead and click on my file 1.txt and i will i should modify this file 
So I'll click on the pen icon right here to be able to modify this file. I'll go up here and fix awesome to epic. Once I am done, I will go ahead and commit changes. So let me go give this a commit message. So I'll say modified awesome to epic. I'll leave this description blank and I'll commit, commit directly to the fix bug branch. So commit changes and right now I've committed my changes. Let me go back to the code right here. So as you can see, there's a new option that appears right now. It says compare and pull request. If I press on this, it will create for me something called a pull request. But what is a pull request? So basically, right now I've worked in a different branch. It is called fix bug branch. But then if I want to merge this, the changes done in this branch with the main branch, I should create a pull request. And this is where other team members will approve the merge or won't approve the merge. So whenever you want to merge something with the main branch, you should always create a pull request so other reviewers should approve this merge. So how to do this, we can go ahead and compare and pull request. We can go ahead and press on this button. And so this is the title, modified awesome to epic. This is the description. Let me go ahead and say fix, fixed the bug. Okay. So now we have the option to choose the reviewers. Well, there's no other reviewers than me. So this is good. So now let's go ahead and create pull request by pressing on create pull request. And this will create for me the pull request. So now that I finished the job and I did the issue or I fixed the issue before I merge pull request, I want to go to the development tab right here. I'll press on this gear icon. And as you can see, this is the issue. If I press on the issue or select this issue, what this will do is whenever I will merge this pull request, it will close the issue. So this is like saying that you completed that job or you fixed the issue. So now let's go ahead and say merge pull request. Let's go ahead and confirm merge or confirm pull request. So pull request now is successfully merged and closed. First of all, let's go to the issue tab. And as you can see, there are no more issues. And if we go to the one closed or the closed issues right here, you can see all the closed issues or the issues that you fix them if you want. So as you can see, we fixed Git and GitHub are awesome to Git and GitHub are epic. So we are done with this issue. But let me go to the code section and let's go ahead and we are not right now in the main branch. If I select file one.txt, as you can see, it is modified. So Git and GitHub are epic right now. It doesn't say Git and GitHub are awesome. Why? Because we merge the changes done in the other branch with the main branch by creating, of course, a pull request. So well done on creating your first pull request. Now we've made a few changes in GitHub, but it is always a good practice to pull whatever you did into GitHub to your local repository, meaning you need to have a copy of the GitHub repo in your machine. To do that, we need to write git fetch this will fetch us all the changes we did in the low remote repository. And after that, we need to merge these changes with our local repository. So now let me press on git merge. As you can see, we've merged our changes into our local repository. But we've just wrote two commands, git fetch and git merge. Well, luckily for us, git is offering us a shortcut for this by saying git pull. So this will fetch and then merge the changes into your local repository. So this is how you can pull your code from your remote repository in GitHub. All right, this is it on Git and GitHub. Now we can say that you have the basics and able to work with both Git and GitHub. If you need to refresh your memory on Git, make sure to visit this video. Otherwise, congratulations on learning Git and GitHub. And I invite you to click on this video so I'll be able to see you there.